Dayan Lovren was used to being the butt of the jokes. In the build-up to the Champions League final a Liverpool defender spoke about life growing up in an apartment block in Karlovac with his family. Classmates would mock both his accent and his footballing dreams but Lovren's confidence in his ability to reach the top was unwavering. At 12 years of age I wrote on the underside of the table where I read I would do my homework, one day I will be one of the best defenders in the world, he said. People were laughing at me. I struggled a lot in my life from day one. But they always pushed me to be better. Liverpool's day on Lovren tries to stop Tottenham's Harry Kane at Wembley, image, Ian Kington, AFP, Getty Images, when I was a teenager they said I couldn't play like a defender, that I didn't have a left foot, that I wasn't quick enough. Will hit it better today with my left than my right. You know there is belief within me and it will never go from me. It really was always there from when I was young. When you say I am not good enough, I will just show you I am good enough. Some seven weeks after being Liverpool's standout performer in the Champions League final in Kiev, the 29-year-old is preparing for Wednesday night's World Cup semi-final against England in Moscow. It's Lovren against clubmate Jordan Henderson, for one there will be unbridled joy, for the other only season-ending heartache. Lovren's duel with tournament top scorer Harry Kane promises to be one of the key battles. Liverpool's day on Lovren is substituted off the pitch for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, image, Adam Davy, PA Wire. It was at the hands of Kane back in October that Lovren's roller coaster Liverpool career slumped to its lowest ebb. The red centre back was caught horribly flat footed in the build up to Kane's opener for Tottenham. His desperation to make amends then saw him misjudge a throw from Hugo Lloris which sailed over his head. Kane raced clear and crossed for Hung Min Sun to score. Kane tormented him and Lovren's Wembley humiliation saw him hauled off after just half an hour. Not for the first time, Lovren was written off. Jurgen Klopp left it a few days before inviting Lovren into his office to discuss the bleak events of that afternoon. Dayan Lovren of Liverpool tackles Harry Kane, image, Sean Botterill, Getty Images, Klopp told him, if you just think about yourself like I thinking about you, you'll be one of the best players in the world. Rather than be tossed aside, Lovren was given the opportunity to strike back, and he grasped it. When Virgil van Dijk arrived in January it was Lovren rather than Joel Matip who nailed down the spot alongside the Dutchman. Lovren showed his strength of character and powers of recovery en route to Kiev. There was still the occasional error, like in the defeat to Manchester United at Old Trafford, but that's to be expected when you are under orders to be a front foot defender and you are told to gamble on winning the ball back. Dejan Lovren of Croatia, celebrates victory following the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia Group B match between Argentina and Croatia at Nizhny Novgorod Stadium on June 21, 2018 in Nizhny Novgorod, Russia, image, Clive Brunskill, Getty Images, for the most part Lovren was a model of consistency. His form for both club and country has been outstanding. Having done a job on Cristiano Ronaldo in Kiev, he helped keep Lionel Messi quiet when Croatia routed Argentina in the group stage. Kane is a class act but he will be up against a different beast to the one who imploded at Wembley. Lovren has come a long way since then. A figure of fun. Nobody is laughing at the Croatia international anymore. He's a national hero and that pledge he made on the underside of that table in his homeland no longer seems quite so fanciful.